um, seven o'clock to call this meeting of the Yellowstone Square Commission to order. Judy, would you like to put roll, please? Yes, three. Here. Toby. Here. Sims. Here. Holds it up. Here. Also present is Planning and Zoning Administrator Denise Swinger. Uh, we have an agenda in front of us. Um, any changes, additions, deletions? Okay. We have meetings from our meeting minutes from our December 14th meeting. Uh, anyone have any comments on the first page? Um, uh, the, under public hearings, 423 West Limestone, the second paragraph, the last sentence. Um, <clears throat> that's necessitating a home occupation permit. Okay. Page two. Page two, I just wanted to have added, um, let's see, how far down. Under uh, 1262085E, home occupations, it's about th two thirds of the way down. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Swinger stated that she had measured the area used by the pulling business um, and just put subtracting out, just insert an American three foot standard hallway. Because that was an open space design. Mm -hmm. Okay, the rest. Yeah. Okay, page three. Page four. Page four. I have something to go for. Um, uh, Pelzel asked whether Planning Commission can assume that the requested conditions will not be violated. I don't think that was a question, or if it was, it was facetious. So, um, like, uh, you, you did actually say it. I, I did not believe you were, I didn't think you were going to say it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that, I mean, did anyone answer it then? I guess, like, if it was a question. I, it probably was a question. It can stay as it is. Sorry. Okay. So you had something, please? Um, actually, it's on page five. Sorry. Okay. Uh, page five. Uh, page five, um, about two-thirds of the way down. Uh, you have the condition regarding signage from section 1262 that and then you put in parentheses bed and breakfast. Yeah. Uh, if you could on the next one, E five F, if you put in parentheses, um, they it was they got that that information from home occupation. Yeah. Yep. Last page. I have a motion to <coughs> accept these. Minutes as modified. So moved. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Jerry will abstain since he was a non voting member that day. Um, communications, we have one communication from Jennifer Horner on our meeting last, last meeting. We thank you for that. Yes. Uh, do we have any committee council reports? Uh, <coughs> just for reference from the council, is that what you mm -hmm. um, uh, Resolution uh, 2015-61 authorizing the Enterprise Zone for 888 Main Street was unanimous. Services. Okay. It gives them uh, a 10 year uh, uh, 
in uh, <coughs> is amounts to about uh, uh, ten thousand dollars less than uh, tax evaluation grant for the village. It runs for ten years, and after the ten year period, it's done. Okay. And it's on the uh, improvements in, in and just the improvements. Just, yeah. just like the was improvements. talked about at the first meeting that right. was present. Okay. Right. And there are some other state regulations that the county will have to meet. And of course, uh, it will also have to meet uh, similar type national that have to be passed by uh, Green County Commissioners. And they, they plan on uh, meeting this week. When? This week. Oh, okay. <laughs> this week. Okay. 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 Any, any other questions? Okay, so. Uh, citizens' comments. This is a part of the agenda for citizens to comment on any item that's not otherwise on the agenda. Um, so if you have something to address planning commission about that's not related to the 888 Dayton Street, this is an opportunity uh, to do that. If not, we'll go forward with the public hearing. So public hearing is a um, a hearing on the conditional use request for 888 Dayton Street. Typically, this starts with a uh, report from staff, then a discussion, and any and, uh, questions to the applicant. Uh, then we'll open the floor for comments, uh, and then uh, following a comment period, um, uh, return the discussion up here for um, potential action on planning. So with that, Denise, do you want to sure. begin? Uh, we have tonight with us Ken Sauer, uh, Executive Vice President of Data Mailing Services, and Tom Cooper, <coughs> the Operations Manager. And uh, they, Data Mailing Services in, is in the process of purchasing 888 Dayton Street, the former Antioch Publishing Company, um, and they are here this evening seeking a conditional use for their business. Um, there are five parcels of land encompassing this property as a whole, three of which are in the village, and these three <coughs> are currently zoned planned unit development. And this PUD zoning was enacted last year at the April 16, 2014 meeting. Um, and at that meeting of PC, they requested, required, as part of the passage of that <coughs> PUD designation, um, that all future industrial uses would come before Planning Commission for a conditional use hearing, and that's what brings us here tonight. Um, staff um, has cited two sections of the code for the Planning Commission to consider. 125801, commercial services, printing, photo, photocopying, and publishing services. That was in your uh, report as printing photocopying and printing services. I caught that error and was, and was able to correct that for the newspaper and the agenda that it wasn't changed on your staff report. So it is um, 125801 commercial services, <coughs> printing, photocopying, and publishing services, as well as <coughs> under 125801 um, mail order businesses and fulfillment centers. They are <coughs> requesting this approval for the remaining available space that is not currently under lease. And there is a, a drawing of, the, of that in your packet, which shows in yellow the areas they'll be occupying. Um, the areas that are not in yellow are the other businesses that are, will continue to be operating there. And then the uh, orange is new construction, which is that a future time? Uh, and I thought as far as getting into details of parking, if you wanted to kind of discuss that as we went along, would have them come up? Well, I think you laid out the parking and some of those other requirements mm -hmm. uh, in your analysis, correct? Yes. And truck traffic. And, okay. So does anyone have any questions for Den Denise about her recommendations on this? Um, I have a question about the new construction. Um, I, I guess like I don't see a picture 
with it and the property lines? Right. Um, this, because <coughs> that's too far ahead. I mean, we're not okay. at that point yet. Is that going to come back? That the new construction is going. In what form is that going to come back to us? Well, depending on what the, where they're expanding to, there a part of that might go into parcels that are not even in the village right now. So there's a lot of other things things that have to be done. As what what we're presented with, we it's really just for the property as is. Yes. Okay. Not the expansion. Um, can our Tom, you want to add anything? Um, identify yourself for the folks on Channel 5 and uh, Ken Soward, I'm Executive Vice President of Dayton Mailing Services. You want to <coughs> give us the two minutes? Uh, We're a uh, direct mail printing facility, digital printing facility. We'll be uh, moving uh, equipment in that is primarily big um, office printer type things about the size of that desk there. Um, they all use the um, same technology as an office printer. Um, the other equipment will be mailing equipment, which is letter inserters. Um, that's basically what we do. Um, the usage of the building will not be any different, I don't believe, than what was there before. As uh, creative memories, know a little bit about that what was there in any upbringing. The I have had off the record conversations with the uh, DCs of the building and we've uh, discussed minor changes with them but no most of them will be staying as is in the building. Okay. Do you want to have any questions for the as far as the new construction um, we plan on moving forward with that sometime uh, in the near future to accommodate the equipment that we have. As far as the property line, it, it, it'll go out to the village property line, I believe, the tree line there, up to the park. It'll mirror the building that's there, only come out about uh, 100 feet, was it? It's 145 feet. 145 feet. So it'll go to the tree line there will not go into the parking lot in the back and it will not go into the parking lot in the front. Um, I know there was some issues with parking. There are, uh, I counted 192 spots. Um, during the day, we probably would use maybe 45. So uh, there is adequate parking for both the leases and us. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Thanks. Sure. Thank you. Uh, any further conversation up here before we open the public hearing? Okay. Well, with that, then, um, open the public hearing. If you want to address this issue, step to the microphone and identify yourself, please, and uh, uh, and let us know what you think. Okay, that sounds pretty easy. Um, with that, I guess we'll close the public hearing. Um, uh, with that, then I guess, is there any further conversation up here? I have a question for Karen. Yeah, I know you didn't say, to say anything. Um, if you're from the issue of Chamber of Commerce, is there, with this, these guys moving here, is there any available space in the village for uh, any kind of uh, business expansion or new business? Very small. Very, for, for, you know, maybe five people, very, we are very limited now. This is, it's one of those things that is an absolutely exciting opportunity and one of the things that we've been hoping for, but in one fell swoop, we've, we will have taken up all of the available space in the village um, for any major development. Um, so um, it, it, it's a happy, it's a happy conundrum, um, right. and we're excited to welcome Dayton Mailing Service. Thanks. 
Any further discussion? If there's not, do we want to consider some kind of a resolution? Or a motion? No, I move that uh, we accept the recommendations uh, of our staff, staff with the conditions and uh, on the uh, conditional use of the property in question. Any further discussion? Does someone want to second that then? I'll second it. I can roll, please. Yes. Hillsell? Yes. Toby? Yes. Sims? Yes. Reed? Yes. All right. Next on the agenda is old business. Do we have any? I know the community also appreciates your service, and we're gonna, we're gonna miss you. I know I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> and I'm so forth, but, but again, yeah. All right. thank you very, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to help with the village as much as I can, as much as I did. We appreciate you coming in tonight too. <laughs> but now I'll get to watch it from home. Gripping <laughs> <laughs> stuff. Uh, Next time, agenda planning. You said you might have some swimming pool regs. I want, yeah, I'd like to do a couple of text amendments, swimming pool regulations. Um, and uh, council noticed that accessory uh, structures, which we changed, that under accessory dwelling units, it also needed to have the same language. So I want to take a look at that. That should be fairly easy. But you know, those are two things we. We need to move on. And I think there's going to be some more text amendments coming, but just not right. Not all together. Okay. Are we expecting a new council person or changes at the, in the new year with the council rep? Well, there will be a new council rep in, in, in the, the next meeting. In the system.